Well, good evening, Warriors fans. Uh, Join alongside me is the newest member of the Seattle Kraken, future Seattle Kraken, Tyson Jugnoth. Tyson, uh, t- you watched the draft from home. Uh, you were enjoying the draft, watching it with your parents and your brother Colton. Take me through the moment when your name was called. Yeah, I was just laying on the couch and we were all watching the draft and someone else just got drafted and they're doing a little bit of uh, analysis on him. And Colton stands up and he goes, I think I just heard your name get called. So we all stand up and we're like, did you really hear my name? And a couple seconds later, my name pops up on the screen and then it was, it was a special moment for sure. Uh, so obviously you embraced with your family. Uh, wish I had a live Zoom feed of that. I'm sure we have all would have liked to watch that happen. But uh, you get the phone call uh, from uh, Hockey Hall of Famer, General Manager Ron Francis. What was that like? Super cool moment. Um, it was obviously very cool to be drafted and then get that phone call from Ron Francis. Just welcome me to the organization and uh, congratulate me on getting drafted. So uh, it, was, it was for sure a cool phone phone call to pick up so you've traveled all around uh you know the the continent uh exploring other nhl teams uh visiting uh with a lot of scouts uh and here we are you're going to be flying to seattle uh just tomorrow afternoon saturday afternoon going to be uh you know shaking a lot of hands but you're also going to be meeting a lot of your future teammates you got a couple buddies in there and more importantly another member of the west colonial warriors ben mcdonald who will be playing at the warriors next season this will be your first time meeting him how excited are you about that Yeah, I'm excited about meeting Ben. He was here for, I think, a couple days. I just said hi to him, but I'm excited to get to know him this uh, upcoming week at camp. Well, I'm sure a lot of Seattle Kraken fans are watching uh, this interview right now. Warriors fans don't need to hear this, but uh, why don't you describe your style of play and who you model your game after? Yeah, I think I'm an offensive defenseman, uh, very puck possession uh, minded. I, I always like to hold on to the puck and make a play whenever I can. Uh, I like to try to model my game after like Adam Fox. Um, I think uh, we have similar style games, uh, puck possession, uh, very high IQ. So that's what I can bring to the table. A very high IQ indeed. Uh, Both your parents doctors here in Kelowna. You chose the junior A route going to the BCHL and you're committed to the University of Wisconsin. You actually spent already, uh, uh, you know, a couple weeks or a week with uh, the University of Wisconsin out in Madison. How excited are you to get things going with them? Yeah, I'm super excited. I was there for about two weeks already. It's awesome. I love it there. It's super nice place. The rink, the facilities, everything. you know, it's, it's the next step of my hockey journey, and it's, it's super exciting for me, and I'm looking forward to getting back down there. There is one uh, Warriors alumni who also had the same journey as you, uh, played for the Warriors, Justin Schultz, Stanley Cup champion. He went to the University of Wisconsin. Have you had any type of connect, uh, contact with Justin here in regards to his journey and any recommendations from him? Yeah, I mean, when I committed to Wisconsin, he texted me. Um, I've skated with him a few times throughout the past couple summers, but um, it's just we've been on a similar path. He played in West Kelowna, I played in Kelowna. Uh, We both played for the Warriors, both committed to Wisconsin. Um, It's it's something that I think is really cool, just being able to follow in the footsteps of someone like that. And uh, I hope that I could have a similar career to what he does. Let's talk about your attitude and your demeanor. You're kind of known as Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected, not only in the Warriors, but probably in the BCHL. Um, Who who did you get that from, your mother or your father? I think more my mom. My mom is super calm and uh, relaxed all the time. I think just kind of like her energy is always kind of bled into me, and now I'm I'm just always super calm and cool, collected. Um, even during games where we're down or where we're up, I just try to stay level-headed. I know that Kraken fans in the entire Pacific Northwest uh, wants to see the salad. Uh, why don't you just take off the hat and show off the hair? Yeah. What? Talk to me about the hair and what makes your hair so unique. <laughs> I don't know. I just always had it long. I remember Colton one time, he got a long haircut. I'm like, oh yeah, it looks pretty cool. So I started growing my hair out and Ever since then, I've just had long hair. There's been no real story to it. I just thought it looked cool once, so I just kept it since I was like 14. So 
Well, I, and why don't we just talk? You mentioned Colton, one of your brothers. He's a goaltender here in town. And then you have Braden, uh, your youngest brother, who was just away in Edmonton over at the Brick Invitational. The hockey doesn't stop with you uh, in the Jugnaw family. Talk about uh, Braden, who I believe is only 13 years old, and uh, he's uh, killing it. And you're, you, you even told me, I think he's going to go higher in the draft than me. Yeah, uh, I've got three other brothers play hockey. Colton is a goalie for the major midget team. Um, hopefully he's going to make a junior A team coming up pretty soon. Uh, I've got another brother. He's 14, Logan. He's going to play on the major Bantam team this year. Uh, he's, he's a really good defenseman too. Tall, big defenseman. And my youngest brother, Brayden, is ridiculously good. He's, he's a special talent. Um, he played on the Brick team this year. He's 12. But he's he's a special player. He's got a rocket of a shot. He's uh, always played with the year up. He's yeah. He's he's a super special player. Uh, well, uh, hopefully the Jugnaw family in the NHL does continue. Uh, one last question here, and this is uh, advice I want you to give to all the young hockey players out there. What are some of the traits that Tyson Jugnoth brings that uh, got him drafted by the Seattle Kraken? I find that I'm just always calm with the puck, uh, not panicking to make plays. Uh, something I've heard very often is I'm a huge puck possession player, and that's what a lot of people like about me is I don't throw the puck away just trying to get rid of it. I always try to keep it and make a play. Um, you know, sometimes it gets me in trouble, but a lot of the times that uh, creates a good scoring chance or a good breakout. And I think just one of the main things is getting bigger and stronger, especially for me is that's one thing I've heard from a lot of people is that you can get bigger and stronger. And if you can start that at a young age, you won't have that problem growing up. So, It's a very relaxing day for the Jugnaw family. In about an hour here, you're taking off to uh, play 18 holes with your uh, brother and your dad. And then uh, just tomorrow afternoon, you're off to Seattle. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you.